I have always been a tech guy. Matter of fact, if I go way back to when I was in seventh grade, I can look at the very first gateway computer and throughout the years as technology has evolved, I've evolved with it. Matter of fact, when the iPad first came out, it really got me excited about digital planning and taking my digital notes. But it wasn't until Microsoft introduced the Surface Pro that I really saw the benefit of it. All those attempts to use the iPad before there was a stylus just kind of, they sucked. They literally did. But the Surface Pro gave me an actual stylus that was compatible with the device. And through the last several years, I've continued to upgrade with them as they've upgraded the device. And I landed on the Surface 8. The Surface 8 to me was one of the best tablets I've ever used. But in the last couple of years, I thought to myself, well, there's not enough there to upgrade. There's not enough new features, benefits for me to consider upgrading for my Surface Pro 8. And I kind of just been hung there for a period of time. Well, the Surface Pro 11 came out and I can tell you first and foremost, there's a lot of updates to this between the keyboard, the mouse pad, the screen itself, the battery, the processor. There's a lot of things that make me think and brought to my attention how I could improve my writing experience, my productivity with this device. And I'm going to share that with you guys today so you can make a decision for you and if you should upgrade to the Surface Pro 11 today. All right, I said I was a tech guy, but I'm not your typical tech reviewer. I don't dive into all the matrix of benchmarks and all that stuff that makes you compare this product, that product. I talk about what matters, how the heck you're going to use the darn thing, and if it's really going to help improve your productivity and life efficiencies. And that's what we're going to talk about today. But before we do that, we're going to talk a little bit about the form factor. So just so you have some tech-like feel and we can classify this as a tech video. First and foremost, the form factor, is relatively close to the same. The hallmark features of this device and the ability it has, that different viewing angle, the keyboard, the way it attaches, all those things are notably the same and it's been an upgrade. But there's been subtle changes. For example, this keyboard will actually pair with the device and more so, it actually now has the ability where it can sit as a standalone piece and you can use it as kind of an elevated experience when you're typing. One of the new features on this keyboard is the haptic feedback of this mouse. You now can push in every single corner, unlike previous editions. But the ability to go ahead, and you can see my mouse moving here, why it's not being paired is one of the biggest features that I like. I can literally move this into a sitting or standing position and change the viewing angle of this device. I can move it over to a desktop or put it on a stand and still be able to use this keyboard, which I think is so cool. What makes this so awesome is the ability that this keyboard is connected and they're paired, but they're physically not connected. I can go ahead and write on my screen, or if I wanna switch and write and type a note, I can do so. So many times I'm inside my device and I have an email that comes up and I quick gotta go ahead and respond to it. I can do that without having to go through the process of reconnecting these devices. The other thing that really makes this new keyboard really exciting is the fact that when it is connected, I have access to my stylus right here. In the previous editions, you'll see that the actual stylus disappeared. I'd actually have to open up the keyboard to access the pen. And to me, that was just simply annoying and really poorly designed. This, much improved. In addition to all the improvements of the Flex Pro keyboard, we also have all the hardware improvements of the Surface Pro 11 itself. One of the biggest standout features is the display itself. This new OLED display and refresh rate of 120 hertz really gives me the ability to have a cleaner looking handwriting experience. When I pair that with the response rate of the pen, it's actually almost like in real time that I see my notes being created for themselves. And with the updated processor, we see better battery life of up to 14 hours and reduced heat from the activity of the processor makes it a better experience when you're holding this device for a longer period of time. The hardware itself being under two pounds, holding that for an extended period of time is much more enjoyable. And also with the updated cameras, when we're entering a Zoom calls or doing things in a virtual space, those improvements really make the experience more enjoyable. When it comes to the actual device itself and how we utilize it for note taking, there's a lot of different opportunities to utilize it. The main focus for me and many others is using OneNote, but there's a lot of other applications, including one that's called Nebo. Nebo is an application that works across Windows, Apple, and Android, so you can synchronize your notes across that. And the GUI and interface of that application is consistent across all different platforms. But with OneNote, we have a universal application 
that is very advanced on the Windows platform. There's so many tools and tech that allow you to really take note taking to the next level. And as you look at that tech on other platforms, you can still enhance, read and view your notes, but with the features that are in OneNote on a Windows device, it's superior to any other note taking application that I've ever used before. And if you guys wanna learn about OneNote and how to really use this for note taking, go ahead, check out this video here. You can learn about the entire spectrum of all the different features that are in OneNote, how you can go ahead and use it for note taking, how you can use it for collaboration, and how you can share and build productivity in your life. Having the right space or planning can make all the difference in your productivity, creativity, and overall well-being. With the right setup, you can achieve improved focus and efficiency by minimizing distractions and staying on task. I'm using a Surface Pro 11 paired with the amazing FlexiSpot Spot E6 dual motor standing desk. The FlexiSpot Spot E6 desk features a seamless solid slab desktop, offering a smooth 55 by 28 inch surface for maximum comfort and productivity. No more dealing with those annoying seams. And with this three stage lift system, this desk adjusts from 24.4 inches to a towering 50 inches. Perfect for anyone from kids to a tall six and a half adult. And thanks to the quiet dual motors, it lifts up to 352 pounds with minimum noise, assuring you won't be disturbing your surroundings. The vibrant controls of blue backlighting and four height memory buttons make adjusting the desk a breeze. Plus, the 15 year warranty on the frame and motors gives you a peace of mind. A spacious, clutter free desk keeps your planning materials organized within reach, streamlining your productivity. A clean, aesthetically pleasing space can inspire creativity and positively impact your mood. Having the right desk and space clearly makes a difference in how efficiently you can plan. With the Surface Pro 11 and the FlexSize Spot E6, my digital planning is seamless and enjoyable. But when I come to using this Surface Pro 11, the things that really made it stand out for me was the fact that when I'm able to look at this device with a longer battery life, a lighter weight, a better resolution screen, a keyboard that is now paired with the actual device over Bluetooth so it doesn't have to be physically connected. And the fact that I can access this pen in an open or folded position was huge for me. And with all the staples of the Surface, as far as the folding display, the light feel and look of it, to me this was a no brainer. They also went ahead and moved some of the buttons in locations that I feel are better positioned for note taking as well as just general use. With my left hand, I can access all the buttons now easily. I also have the ability to look at accessing two USB ports in a magnetic charging point. I think having a magnetic charger is so important when it comes to laptops because sometimes we're just in spaces where there's a lot of people running around. We even have pets that sometimes move through the space on us. And being able to have that cable rip out from the actual device without the device going with it is, it's a must when you're spending $2,000 on something like this. And there is different available editions that are priced at a more conscious rate. As you continue to browse through the benefits of Surface Pro and everything it has to offer, one thing I want you to recognize too is when it comes to productivity and utilizing this device, there's so many different ways you can utilize it beyond just taking notes. The ability to be able to split your screen with your note-taking application open, as well as other content such as a web browser, book or email really allows you to seamlessly take notes within your application, which gives you the ability to improve your productivity. When you pair your planner and note-taking application with another app, you really can find the benefits of productivity using the Surface Pro. In addition to the Surface Pro and the keyboard and hardware we talked today, an additional accessory I want you to consider that's really gonna improve your writing ability is a metal tip stylus. We have this tip as well as this matte finish screen cover in our description and you can learn more about it. But really what it does is when you are inside the application and you're writing a note, you're really going to find that the writing experience with this tip as well as this matte finish screen cover is going to reduce your glare and increase your paper-like feel across the screen. I find by using this screen cover and the metal tip on the stylus gives me a more paper-like feel as I'm taking notes. As we unbox the Surface Pro 11 and see all the latest updates and features that are available to you, the question is, is it still the best product for you and is it worth the upgrade? 
depending on where you're coming from. Well, people, this is a tablet-like computer or a computer-like tablet. It fits the role of a computer as well as a tablet with the weight distribution and the power that's packed in this processor. You have the benefit of being able to take your notes and your computer wherever you go. So therefore you have the ability to have productivity apps that maybe help you edit photos to utilizing the device for taking notes in a classroom or in the office with one single device. If you learned just one thing today, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel as we uncover more productivity tools and devices in the tech space. And if you're interested in our planning system and there's a productivity tool that helps you personally, professionally to grow your vision into your daily routine so that you can benefit from the goals that you have for yourself and reach the success that you hope to achieve. I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder, and Lord willing, we'll see you in the next video.